Hello, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this Thor Palazzo dual restroom motorhome. So this is a bath and a half floor plan with a full wall slide out. It has 400 watt solar power station on the roof. 6,000 watt generator brand new tires all six installed in 2023 American very good quality tires full body paint it's on a Freightliner diesel pusher chassis and in this video I'm gonna teach you about it so it is for sale and available as of the time that I'm filming this video but this is kind of a review video and showing you about it. So I'm gonna show you inside, outside the cargo compartments. Now, they're not all like this, okay? This is a unusually super nice one. Very clean inside, outside, nothing really, anything wrong with it at all. And it's just completed a major overhaul service. So it's, if it were a boat, it's like when they take it out of the water and they put it in dry dock for a while. This has just completed major servicing and it's ready to go back in the water, so to speak. When I'm saying that, I'm being uh, giving an analogy. This is not a water coach. This is a dry land coach. And compared to like if you had a yacht that goes in the water, this one basically came out of dry dock and it's ready for immediate use. Now, it's very low mileage coach. It's only got 7,000 miles on it. It's got a one piece front windshield. And while we're looking at the glass, there is a full across a uh, sunshade. So when you're driving head on into the sunset, that will uh, keep the sun out of your face and off your sunburn and stuff like that. It's got frameless windows, which were new for 2014. These are all frameless windows, which means there are no um, frames visible. It's just glass panels on the outside. The frameless windows open from the bottom for ventilation. So even if the windows are open, the rain can't come in. Now, this is a 50 amp diesel pusher coach. Up on the roof is the solar power plant. Let's see if I can hold the camera up there and show you. Up on the roof is the solar power. There are two brand new solar panels. They're each 200 watts a piece. That's 400 watts of battery charging total. So when this car coach is parked in the middle of nowhere, such as a desert, dry campground, in your backyard, those 400 watts are charging the coach batteries. If you plug it in, then that's 400 watts less that it's using from the shore power when the solar is putting out to maintain battery charge and run the refrigerator and lights and things like that, TVs. This has an inverter on it, so everything inside runs on the coach batteries including the microwave lighting tvs etc you do not have to run the generator to run all that stuff the exceptions would be the rooftop air conditioners to use the rooftop air conditioning units you must be using the generator or plugged in power this one has an outside entertainment system a large patio awning this actually has a 21 foot awning so it has an extra large patio awning and then this has been freshly serviced part of the service uh, where it went into rv dry dock and got all the servicing done all the awning fabrics on this coach are brand new that's seven thousand several thousand dollars in upgrades just on the awnings alone brand new patio awning fabric brand new slide topper fabric and on the other side is a full wall slide topper. Let's take a quick peek. So 
So the awning is white underneath so it illuminates your patio. So when the patio lights are on you have a lot of light underneath. And on top it fades to black so the roller is black when it's rolled up. This is full body paint in almost 100% perfect condition. It's not all faded or cracked or any kind of physical damage on the paint. The RV actually looks like it's been in indoor storage a significant portion of the time. Even the black on the back and the chrome, we don't see rust on this coach. It's very clean. Look how clean it is as we go down the side here. There's not much chipping or anything like that. Now this does have a clear bra on the front. Now the clear bra, you may want to have this changed because the clear 3M fabric is cracking and uh, there's some stuff underneath the adhesive or whatever is discolored. And they put the 3M protective fa fa uh, film on the front and around the doorknob. So if you look at the doorknob, the white looks very white where the 3M film is, it's a little bit discolored. You can have a 3M film expert remove the old material and reinstall it new or just polish it to be bare paint uh, underneath. The paint is in good condition because it's been protected, but that's extra work that might need to be done if you want it. So we're going to take a look inside the Palazzo 36.1. It's a very open floor plan because it has a full wall slide and a bath and a half and a washer and dryer. So let's take a quick peek up and down the aisles here. Rear bathroom. This is the cushion that turns the dinette into a bed. Going all the way forward, we have a drop down electric bunk which has a light which you can turn on so electric bunk all the seating upholstery material was replaced for the soft upholstery so it's like brand new inside this RV it only has we got it with only 7,000 miles on it it's like brand new in here the upholstery had UV damage from the Sun so we replaced it with new soft upholstery and it's a full replacement. All the material was replaced and we actually went with a little bit lighter color, a more updated modern color to match the upholstery. You know, when Thor built this motorhome, they had to order what they were ordering in bulk at the cheapest price, but we put very good quality material. Now the front drop down electric bunk the bunk controls are right here you can raise the electric bunk and it goes up into the ceiling so you can sleep your guests in the front but when they're not present you can put the bunk up now a lot of diesels do not have a front electric bunk but this one does this is the newer and more modern chassis it's got the state-of-the-art equipment on here. This nice motorhome. Clean. Super clean. One of the advantages of 7,000 miles is they didn't use it very much. A lot of the motorhomes this one will be selling up against will have a lot more miles. 30,000 miles, 50,000 miles. This one has about 7,000 miles. So you have a front half bathroom, weatherproof vent covers so you can leave the vents open even if it's raining outside and you don't have to worry about water coming in. We did upgrade the lighting in here to all new LED lighting because the halogen lighting that it had was not very bright and it used too much electricity. You have linen closets, lots and lots of storage everywhere. 
This motorhome is completely filled with storage cubbies and compartments. A very large shower with a giant door to get in and out of the shower. There's a very large shower in here. We put a new faucet on it. It's very clean. Actually replaced the toilet. We replaced the bathroom fan unit. Brand new. Washer and dot dryer compartment right here. This is tested, it's fully operational. I bought this motorhome in Texas, drove it to California. I did use the washer and dryer and it did work. Worked really well actually. It has a separate stacking unit, washer and dryer. Full residential clothes washer, I'm sorry, refrigerator. Refrigerator is a large capacity residential unit. Now here's something that sets this apart from other motorhomes. A residential refrigerator is a big deal because some states are trying to ban appliances that run on propane or natural gas such as an absorption refrigerator which is more common on some motorhomes. This is not an absorption refrigerator. This is a plug it in the wall and has a compressor and it cools down very quickly. So if you go to Costco or Home Depot and you put your food in there and it's a little warm and you turn on the refrigerator, this should be able to cool all the refrigerator and your food within about three hours. In about three hours of cooling after it gets completely cold. It's cold right now. Compared with an absorption refrigerator that could take 24 hours to cool. So this is a quick cooling refrigerator. It has a thermostat so you can set the temperature in case your food you find that it's freezing or something like that. And it's a very large capacity Whirlpool stainless steel refrigerator. The microwave is a convection microwave. This is something that sets it apart as well. Now you, everybody's used a microwave by now. Microwave, you put the food in, you set the time, it cooks it. But this is a convection microwave that works like a, an oven or a microwave or both. So you can preheat this microwave to 350 degrees, pull your pizza that you bought last night and put it in the microwave and warm it up in a in where it's already at 350 degrees and microwave it for 30 40 50 seconds and it's going to be hot and crispy not hot and soggy so it gets hot like an oven so you can bake food in here you can microwave food in here or you can bake and microwave at the same time it's called a convection oven you should look those up if you don't have one we're spoiled now that we've had those. It's a brand new kitchen faucet. State of the art, modern styled kitchen faucet with a pull down rinse wand still wrapped in the protective anti scratch material. This was replaced. Kitchen faucets are something that commonly leaks after a few years, so we put a brand new one in there for you. There's no gas oven in here, but there is a gas three burner cooktop. There's, like I said, lots and lots of storage. And if you open up the kitchen storage, look, it's not all scratched up. If you find a very used motorhome and you open up the kitchen drawers, they'll be all scratched up from pots and pans running around for 30,000 miles. You don't get that experience when you buy this coach. It's almost like brand new in here. When you open up the kitchen cabinets, they're not all scratched up or worn out. All the drawers are working. This has uh, blinds that are day and night slow rise roller shades with a blackout curtain capability. So if you like to sleep in, those will block out a lot of the sunlight. And it has dual pane windows. There's two panes of glass in the windows. We, the windows were serviced, so they're clear. There's no fogging or ghosting in these windows. There's a pantry for your food or laundry stuff next to the washer and dryer. 
comes with a queen bed master suite not a king but a queen bed gives you a lot of cubbies and storage and still two full rest uh, restrooms so this one has solar power on the roof we show that earlier it's got blackout curtains everywhere storage everywhere a lot of nice places the bedding and linen in here is brand new freshly purchased this is not from the previous owner our dealership purchased the bedding it's all brand new in here trying to get something that matches the rest of the uh, pool street and the condition is extra clean of everything so when you're using your laundry equipment you do your laundry you're camping you could stay on extended camp trips your dinette turns into a bed this big cushion it's got something called a dream dinette to make it a simple understanding you just release the locking tab underneath you take the cushions out of the way you push it down and fit the cushion in between now I have to you have to pull these cushions out of the way first and I'm holding a camera so I can't do it at the same time but it turns into a bed this also turns into a bed this is a factory original sofa bed with all new upholstery on it and you take the back cushions out flip it over and it has an inflatable air mattress that sits on here that um, somebody who's your guest can sleep in so in the palazzo in sleep configuration we've inflated the electric air mattress turned the sofa into a bed turned the dinette into a sleeping di dream dinette i'm going to point out a few things it is an air mattress it has a remote control so you can adjust it for stiffer or firmer with the remote to inflate or deflate it it's a queen size air mattress so you can comfortably sleep two adults on the air mattress two adults on the queen master bed one adult here and one adult in the electric bed but if you had kids two kids could fit here and two kids could fit in the front electric bed if they're small kids maybe even three going lengthwise across but uh, if you want them up so hypothetically eight people can fit on beds or six adults comfortably so this is a diesel pusher so when you sit up here in the front and you're driving on your vacation the engine is all the way in the back now have you been in an RV trip if you have then you know a lot of motorhomes the engine is right here in the front putting out a lot of noise and a lot of heat but a diesel pusher is a different experience because the engine is 30 some feet in towards the back of the motorhome you don't feel the heat and you don't hear the noise it sounds like a little purr like a little cat purring in the back that's how caterpillar got their name one of the ways the engines purr in the back this one has a cummings engine but it sits in the back and it purrs as you're climbing over hills and valleys and things like that and it has a lot of torque diesel engines are very torquey which means they have a lot of pulling power so if you're pulling a trailer or a heavy motorhome up a hill they can do it whereas a gas motorhome doesn't have as much torque but it is a large and kind of heavy motorhome compared with the gas rig but it has the air suspension underneath to keep a nice soft ride very smooth let me show you more features as we go down filming videos you have full pocket doors so privacy in the restroom you can close these pocket doors and they have a release lever so they lock in the open position or the closed position so when you're driving they're not sliding back and forth banging around in here there's another pocket door right here in the bedroom so you have bedroom privacy you have restroom privacy if you're just going to have visitors 
visitors coming by, you can let the visitors use the front restroom only, which is hidden away right here. Has dual air conditioning units. These are very nice AC units. They're the penguin units up on the roof and uh, they heat or cool very nicely. The driver's seat and the passenger seat both swivel. The driver's seat is power adjustable so you can get the comfortable seating position you want for those long trips. And in the front, this front curtain is a power adjustable power roller curtain. So you can use it like a big sunshade. Taking you on a little test drive of the Thor Palazzo. Right now it currently has 9,755 miles. I've driven this motorhome from Dallas, Texas to California. And from California, we test drove it out to Arizona, Grand Canyon, Hoover Dam. And, uh, is the other one Joshua Tree so we took it on a nice thousand mile loop test drive to see any surprises fixed the running gear in perfection so this has six brand new tires on the engine we had to replace the uh, engine some sensor so it's in mint condition there's no check engine light ready to drive you across the country. We changed the AC condi air conditioner compressor. We changed the fan belt. We did a service on it and this has a, had a lot of service on it. So you should be able to get in, jump in and go uh, without delay or expense. Just buy your goods to go camping and head on out. Ready to go Thor Palazzo. So we're cruising along at 60 miles an hour. On a uh, local expressway and uh, it's running good so pointing things out about it it has side view cameras so when I turn on my left turn signal I have a left side view camera in addition to my nice towing mirrors so we can merge to the left lane you can check your blind spots with the side view camera Make sure nobody's sneaking around in there. And this has the engine grade brake, which is actually um, on right now. That helps slow you down coming down hills and stuff like that. Using the engine to slow you down instead of just the brakes alone. So the very valuable. This has the DEF system, so it's California compliant for registration a lot of the older diesels you can't register them in California anymore because of emission regulations right now that's 2000 model year and older vehicles so about 24 year old vehicles they're having trouble to register them in California but that won't be a problem for this one because this has the clean diesel technology let's do some maneuvering around this industrial area <clears throat> surprisingly the turning rate is, radius on this big diesel pusher is better than on a c-class 31 footer or 32 footer you can make maneuvers see if we can make a u-turn in this little turnout quite a u-turn it is a long motorhome but surprisingly a little c-class motorhome has the same problem because the Freightliner has a very very sharp turn lock to lock on the front wheels I'll try to put a little graphic of that here push button shifter nobody coming double checking the blind spot camera 
remember I'm also driving with one hand holding the camera. So I'm able to drive with one arm, operate the controls. Excellent visibility on an A-Class motorhome. Big advantage over a C-Class motorhome, you're up higher. You can see right down the side of the motorhome, both sides to the curb. Make your turn radius, keep the rear wheels close but not too close to the curb when you turn. And the acceleration is pretty good. Diesel pusher produces a lot of torque. So you can pull the motorhome plus a trailer up and over the hills without having to slow down. There's a lot of engine protections on the engine, so if something does go wrong, like this one had a check engine light for a faulty crankshaft sensor, and when that happens, it goes into an engine protection mode, so it gives you reduced power. But uh, that's corrected. On this one, it's, it's replaced with a new sensor from Freightliner and adjusted. So, uh, excellent visibility. You have this front window shade that you can roll down and up for protection from the sun when you're driving. You can almost drive head on into the sunset or the sunrise and not be blinded like most cars by lowering this sunshade just enough to tilt your head and be out of the sun and still be able to see down the road, which is pretty nice if you're driving until early or late driving. The engine that's pushing us forward is, oh, nice, nice stopping ability. Got the red light, so we stopped. The engine is 30 feet behind us, so you don't sit on the engine like on a normal C-Class or an A-Class motorhome, you're sitting on top of the engine uh, with the front engine motorhomes. You're sitting right on top of the engine and you get all the heat and all the noise. This one, the engine's 30 feet behind you. Now I do have the generator running. You can run the generator when you're driving and it's very, very reliable. Unlike other motorhomes, including A-Class and C-Class gas motorhomes, the diesel generators are extremely reliable. I've had a, a lot of problems with almost brand new motorhomes, gas motorhomes where the generators just turn off. They vapor lock going up hills or down hills or once you get out in the desert and it's 117 degrees outside, 117, the generators turn off and then your air conditioning roof AC doesn't work anymore on those gas motorhomes. You don't have those kind of problems on a diesel generator. It's up front, it's got fresh air and uh, much more reliable. Plus you have all air suspension. So we're riding on air springs. There's not metal springs, there's airbag springs. So it has a nice smooth ride. This is a pretty rough road and that airbag suspension is isolating us from a lot of the bumps and bounces. Nice big tires. Remember, six brand new tires on this motorhome. Now this one does have semi-truck air horns. So instead of the car beep beep, like many motorhomes have, this has 18-wheeler air horns up front. So, when the traffic gets away from me a little bit, I can toot my horn. Nice loud honk. So we're gonna maneuver around this little parking lot here. With a big motorhome like this, it's easy to take parking lots if you take four parking spaces and don't park too close. If you plan to park in the handicap parking space, this is not the ideal scenario. Of course, you could tow a car behind. I can go to the front parking space, but I'm going for the one that I can go through. So 
so I'm going to take four slots so that other vehicles should not get too close to me. Now you go to a lot of places like Cracker Barrel or other Home Depot, they have large size parking spaces for truck and trailer parking in some parking lots. But here we are, we're parked in four parking spaces in a normal parking lot. By taking four parking spaces, you can usually get out and if you don't park too close to the building like Walmart or whatever building you're at it's pretty easy to get in and out we're here behind the building here we can put it in reverse and use our backup camera and our mirrors and you can back right out of any trouble you get into especially if you're not towing the trailer even if you are towing a trailer, you can see what the trailer is doing, so you don't jackknife in reverse. But we're backing it up into a drive. See that? I can see where I'm going. While I'm watching the backup camera, I'm watching the mirrors. I'm watching the tree clearance. Backing up into long extended backing experience. We have some shadows there so you have to watch extra close to the shadows. So we backed up several hundred feet, 300 feet or 400 feet. Excellent visibility even with a large motorhome like this. There's two HD TVs, one in two inside, and there's a third one outside. But we're going to show some of the equipment that we have here. Next to the TV is your power bed razor lower switch, your gas water heater, and electric water heater as dual source water heat. So you've got a big uh, 10 gallon water heater that heats using electrical voltage or propane burning or both for quick recovery showers a rear tank heater that's for um, cold weather to keep your tanks from freezing you can view your levels what are the levels battery is good propane is good fresh water is halfway black gray and the rear black are all empty the big inverter in the electrical compartment in the back, this is the controller for it, so you can turn on and off inverter function. Inverter means you're using the RV batteries to power your refrigerator, your TVs, and your outlets without using the generator and without being plugged in. Normally, you will have your inverter on at all times when you're using it. And you gotta think of it as like a math problem. The inverter subtracts power out of your batteries to provide it to the refrigerator, the electrical outlets, the TVs. And up on the roof is your solar panels, which you, you do the plus of the equation. They add electricity to the batteries where the inverter subtracts electricity. It's a little bit of a tug of war, but if you don't have the solar panels, which most of the 2014s don't, um, it could cost you several thousand dollars to have someone professionally install a system like this one has. You have your solar battery charging to maintain the refrigerator operation, even if the RV is not plugged in, even if you're driving. If you are plugged in, like this plugged in your house, the solar panel reduces your electric bill at home because the RV itself will not use as much electricity from your home electric power bill. That way your home electricity just serves as a backup. So we are inside a building made out of concrete block and we're getting over the air television stations. This is not satellite picture and this is not cable. This is over the air. We're in Southern California. So Mount Wilson is about 90 miles away, more or less 80, 90 miles away from here. And we're picking up the radio, uh, um, the TV stations from Mount Wilson, transmitter towers. But it does have dish 
satellite system. You have a satellite box in here, you have a 1080p Blu-ray player in here, and you have a 10, uh, TV uh, radio signal amplifier. Now, here's where people get confused. You can get over-the-air broadcast for free on your house, which is really cool, if you live anywhere within a range, but this has a TV antenna on the roof, and it has an amplifier right here. Now, if I turn off the amplifier, then no more picture. So it takes an amplified television antenna to get over the air broadcast. And then you don't have to pay that cable bill for cable subscription. You probably still get your internet from them, but right now the TV is selected TV antenna for TV number two, TV antenna, TV number three, TV antenna. You can alternately select it for satellite uh, as the source or DVD or TV, you know, this this is selector box to select what TV is getting what picture. So every TV in the RV could watch a different source if you wanted to. Or the same source. So I turn the power back on in there. We got the picture again and the TV commercials right now. If you're seeing this thing and you're wondering what that is, that's the take the wheel covers off if you have to check your tire pressures. Um, or service your tires this is a little lug wrench to help you take the fancy trim covers off and right here is your satellite dish power so if you turn on the satellite box and the satellite antenna the satellite dish will automatically find the satellites so you'll have satellite picture but dish network does require subscription one cool thing about dish network is they have something uh, where you can you can turn dish on for a month while you're camping and then when you're done camping you can turn it off so you don't have to pay a monthly fee for satellite if you're not using it at a specific time it's just a phone call hey can you turn on my satellite okay i'm done camping can you turn my satellite off but you could uh park this in your side of your house and have tv all the time with the dish network provided so long as you have a view of the southern sky from your home these are their various remote controls to operate the TVs and DVD players and things like that. It does have a sound bar right here. So when you're watching your TV, you have the sound bar mounted right above the entry door. So you can hear the TV. Now I have the volume turned all the way down. We're watching my buddy there, Dr. Phil, solve somebody's problem for him. in the bedroom we have another TV same story turn it on get over the air broadcast this is actually the air mattress with its own pump for the front electric bed gigantic drawers look how deep these are wide and open up deep brand new linen in here some drawers you open them up and they open up this much but not here you open them all the way how about down here how deep do these open look at all that storage capacity it opens up big you can store stuff in here and these are clean drawers they're not all covered with cooties or anything like that this RV was professionally cleaned and barely used in the first place so it's pretty nice. We're running the AC on cool right now. Trying to cool it down to 67. Somebody's gonna say, why is there blue tape on this switch? This is the bedroom switch that turns off the front lights. But I put the blue tape so I can remember to keep it in that position. There is another switch that turns on and off the front lights right here by the entry door. So when you come in the coach, you head for the switch. It turns on the coach lights and you're good to go. So that's what that little blue tape is out. I'm sure somebody will say, what's that for? And there are power outlets beside the bed on both sides. I have a little fan in here because we're in the shop and we're doing work but it's plugged in to one of the outlets 
right there. There's another outlet on the other side of the bed. So you can have your devices charging or even use them while you're laying in bed. So recapping again, we have a four foot deep by eight foot wide rear master bathroom with a lots and lots of storage. You have a bedroom slide out that opens up to the passenger side. So you still have, it doesn't intrude very much on the campground side of the coach. On the opposite side, you have a full wall slide. It starts right in front of the rear bathroom and goes all the way to the driver's seat. This is all slide out, extended out, opening up big. So if we close this slide out, using the switch right here it reduces the amount of space in here significantly but you can still walk from front to back with the path the driver's side slide closed but as you see the wall is closing it's kind of like an indiana jones movie or a star wars movie this is not exactly a trash compactor but the walls are closing and then close it all the way in it's nice and smooth operation. This does have brand new house batteries on this coach. So now with the roadside or driver's side slide closed, you could be parked next to a busy roadway and still have the bedroom slide open. You can still access the front restroom even with the slide closed. We still have one slide open and we can still access the master bathroom. You can still access the washer and dryer. Basically, you can pretty much access everything. I can't think of anything you cannot access with the master, the main full wall slide closed. So, full access to everything. Even the pocket doors still work. To have privacy so for example if you want to park this in your side yard of your house you could without opening the full wall slide you could still use and move about the motorhome now if you close the bedroom slide then you can no longer easily access the rear bathroom the bedroom slide is closing up right now so you can see how much space you have bedroom slide is closed and this is as far as you can go without climbing over or under the bed So people always ask, how does it look with the slides closed? Here you go. Slides are both closed. This is how it looks. Now people often ask me, can I put the slides out halfway? Yes, you can. But with all motorhomes, what you need to know is there are three sets of seals. The inside seal, the outside seal, and the in the middle side seal. They call it the lip seal. If it's halfway open or halfway closed, only one of the three is sealing. But if it's all the way in or all the way out, then two of your seals are sealing. So we're gonna put this one all the way out. And it's a nice and smooth operation. It's not glitching at all. Now, when you're running your slides, it's good to be running the generator or plugged in. People think, well, I still have battery left. My lights still work. But voltage on vehicles is a weird thing. You have 12 volt batteries. So the 12 volt electrical system. And when it's charging, you have about 13.6 volts. But when the batteries are dead, you only have nine volts. So you have between nine and 13 volts to work with. If your batteries are at nine and a half volts, they're basically dead. So batteries should never be run completely down to zero. Not like your cell phone will be blinking red and then turn off. You don't want to try that. So it's good 
right now it's showing 13.3 volts in the in the batteries charging the batteries so you have plenty of voltage to move your slides in and out smoothly if you're disconnected from your campground you could start the generator it's good to exercise equipment like the generator once in a while to make sure the fuel and oil circulate people's like well i don't want to run that equipment you don't want it to get neglected either so it's good to run that when you run the slides so you have plenty of voltage in the system to move your slides in and out it does have a capability there is a setting in there that the generator can automatically start like if you're camped in the middle of the desert and it turns out to be a cloudy day so your batteries are getting low the generator can automatically start for you there's a setting in there for automatic generator start system which is a real nice high-end feature so we're gonna go around looking at the tires in the cargo compartment so as I mentioned several times this has six brand new tires these are Kelly tires American Kelly tires very good brand we've had good success with the Kelly tires the cargo compartments look like brand new never used super clean inside all of them they're side hinge so they close if you happen to forget to close one and you're driving they'll blow closed it's got a sliding tray in the middle so you can put stuff deeper into your cargo compartment they have lights in the compartment they have some power outlets you can tap into this is another pass through to the other side cargo compartment that's your chassis frame rails that you can see supporting the frame of the RV and then here is your water tank 100 gallons of fresh water capacity it's nice and clean inside we put a brand new water pump in it so that won't give you any trouble six brand new batteries two starting batteries and four house batteries this is the solar charge controller and inverter the big box is the inverter the little one I'm pointing at is the charge controller from the solar and that's the RV controls all in one compartment not a storage compartment it even has a ventilation fan that's your chrome exhaust tip for your diesel engine your 10,000 pound tow hitch with a seven pin connector 50 amp power outlet and on the other side here is your rear black water tank for the shower and restrooms and stuff like that you have a lot of water capacity for fresh and waste that's your def tank you have to add the def it's a clear fluid periodically it's not water it's called def they sell it at costco home depot all over the place or even at some diesel fuel stations that's your water connections that is uh, looking pass through storage looking from the other side look how clean the storage compartments are on this motorhome you can almost eat off of the cargo storage in this motorhome and this is a 2014 that's your propane tank it's not rusty not corroded that's yet another electrical room for your front electrical compartment we walk around again there's a clear bra on the front go underneath this has an air ride suspension which I talked about earlier it's kneeling down the suspension is in the kneeled down position so it's very low to the ground so when you lower your hydraulic leveling jacks down uh, the RV sits much lower to the ground and you have a better chance of getting a good level without lifting it up too high where the tires would lift off the ground or something like that gas rigs are completely different because they don't kneel down this one does that's your diesel engine that's some leveling jacks we put a brand new serpentine belt brand new ac compressor on this we play, replaced some engine sensors and did a lot of servicing on this motorhome six brand new tires 
so this is and uh, we added the valve stem extension so you can check the inside tire pressure without any special tools just a tire gauge uh, and it is a diesel so it has an onboard air compressor so if you plug in an air hose in the front in the engine compartment you can actually check and add air that's your air fitting right there uh, you can plug an air hose and pump up your tires with the engine running uh, when you're off grid or driving down the road you can run the generator when you're driving and have your roof air conditioners running and that's no problem you can do it this one hasn't been used much it's only got 400 hours on the generator showing on the hour meter and the code's only has 7,000 miles what would be a lot of hours on the generator would be like 8,000 hours you're not even a quarter of the way there 8,000 hours might be significant but this doesn't have anything like that slow time on the generator probably a hundred of those hours I've put while driving it myself transporting it that's the VIN number by the way location right there on the firewall 253 are the last digits that it looks like so let's go take a peek again at the roof remember we put two 200 watt solar panels so you have solar 400 watts of battery charging that means when it's plugged in at your house using your house's electricity that solar is charging the RV so your house isn't so it'll save you money if it's plugged into your house and it's working good these are high efficiency panels the awnings on top of the slide out and the main patio awning those have all been changed the brand new fabric you can see how clean it's not even dusty you can go to my website or you can go on YouTube my website is mybestcar.com and on YouTube it's mybestcar.com without the dot. It's got a satellite dish, it's got the Penguin air conditioners, two of them, high performance 15,000 BTU, uh, dual pane window glass, frameless windows. My name is Mike Johnson. Thank you for watching my video. If you have questions, you can give me a call if this unit is still available, 951-681-2101. I accept phone calls between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. California time. And if you want to see it in person, an appointment is required. I do accept same-day appointments with at least one hour notice. Thank you for watching.